this isn't going to be a franchise starter. Uncharted follows Nathan Drake, an orphan whose brother was forced to run away a few years prior to the beginning of the main story. In the present, Nate is a pickpocket living a mediocre job as a bartender until he is met by Sully. Sully offers Nathan a chance to learn about what happened to his brother and bring him along on an adventure to find a 500-year-old treasure that was lost to the pages of history. Along the way, they cross paths with Santiago Mancada and his henchmen as they seek the treasure for, uh reasons. Now the big question, does Uncharted the movie intrigue me enough to play the Uncharted games? Let's find out. First and foremost, I guess the characters introduced here are much younger than their game selves, so the film can act as a sort of prequel to the games. If that isn't a convenient excuse for not needing to be accurate, then I don't know what is. I trust them as much as Roland Emmerich writing the code for the next CryEngine's physics. Speaking of writing, it's pretty meh here. Besides a chuckle-worthy joke early on, there isn't much else to remember. None of these characters are memorable or make a great sacrifice. Not to mention, motivations are as bare bones as can be stripped down to. What is the villain's reasoning? Money? Well, he already has more money in his pocket than you and I will make in our entire lives. Honor? Well, he isn't related to Magellan, so that ain't a thing. So, none of that makes sense, and you're more likely to discover intact dinosaur DNA than a valid reason for him to be here. Speaking of valid, what was the reason for half the stupid crap happening here? Why didn't the security guards tackle Nate like Aaron Donald? Why do people with guns still put their guns in disarming range of people without guns? What the actual fuck was that pilot of the chopper thinking when he tried to crash his chopper carrying an ancient ship into another chopper carrying an ancient ship? These kinds of moronic choices plague this film pretty much from start to finish, and I'm so sick of seeing this level of writing get a pass. That example is one of those stupid, I thought of something cool and I want to force it to happen problems in writing. Compounding this issue, you can't magically pick pocket someone's backpack to pull out a bejeweled cross in front of two people of equal pickpocketing skill. You cannot convince me that Nathan didn't hear or feel his backpack zip twice or the weight of the gold cross being removed. Or that Sully didn't see anything with both Nathan and Chloe standing in front of him as Chloe put the cross in her own backpack. I don't care how fucking good these characters are supposed to be, it isn't reasonable to accomplish this and it's all in service of a useless chase scene that leads no Nowhere. Speaking of, even the action is lacking as well. Not that there isn't action, rather the action itself isn't impressive. There are two big action scenes, and both are mind-boggling if you are like me and you care about physics, logistics, and the structural integrity of wood. And the only people who are believable in their roles are Holland and Wahlberg. At least by what the movie has presented. Holland has been Spider-Man for years, and Wahlberg is still built like a brick shithouse, so when the real villain, the... Uh, Braddock holds her own in a fight with Wahlberg, I want to press X to doubt. She's so frail, she looks like she struggles to hold a gallon of milk, so when she beats three security guards hand to hand while wearing high heels, I just about rolled my eyes. And this is a stupid complaint to make, but my god, her hair is hideous. I don't really know anything about the Uncharted games. Despite having parkour, history, and exploration, I was never really attracted to them, and the Uncharted movie is no different. With bland characters, superficial action, nonsensical logistics, and choices as stupid as their character motivations, the Uncharted movie makes me not want to play the games any more than I already don't. Now, thanks for watching. Please like, share, ring the bell for notifications, and if you want to watch more movie reviews, then subscribe and check out my review of the disaster Asterisk Moonfall at the link over there, and I'll see you in the next video.